Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm doing the high RPM test on this setup, like I promised in the previous video. System is running on, on 18 volt DC at, uh, oh you can see also V, 18 volt DC at 300 milliamps. That's the good part of having a uh, air core coil. Let's measure the RPM. It's doing now 3139. First, I'm going to do the shorting test. So, over here, yes, the call is now shorted. That short. Let's see what the RPM is going to do, or the system. Let's give it some time. We had before 31.38. Let's do the test one more time. And we have now 31. And decreasing. So it is now 31.04. Uh, uh, 31 Uh, I will write in the video and uh, annotations the RPM drop etc because I don't always remember them let's do the test one more time it's pretty steady now it is still decreasing a little bit yeah it's good for now it won't decrease that much more so it is at 3075, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 74. Okay. Now I'm going to load the coil. I'm not using the transformer yet. That is the uh, 101 uh, race transformer. Load the coil directly. 3 watt load. Pretty bright indeed. I can already hear the system slowing down more. Oops forgot to mention the uh, input uh, yeah sorry about that I'm doing these two tests in a hurry get them out of the way have lots of things to do but that's not important now the input what is important is the effect of the coil on the system in this case the rotor let's check that RPM RPM is now 2868 and still decreasing let's give it some more time so as one can see once again uh, the coil being loaded in this case the lights put a lot more stress on the system than only being being uh, dead short just pulling above uh, 40 sorry 400 milliamps One more time the test. It is still decreasing as you can see on the meter over here. It is going slowly but surely. And we do like surely. Just kidding. But we do. So 27 59. I will write all of that in the video for you to see. Uh, that's about it. Um, shorting everything off. It will keep spinning away as always. Momentum keeps it going. Hope you enjoyed it and as always thank you for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Like I've written in the previous video, uh, I have to do the uh, high RPM test. So this is one of them. I have the system running already. It's running at 18 volt DC at uh, say 1.2 amps. And the RPM it is doing... 
it is doing now oops my bad it is doing now 3017 rpm let's do the shorting test first this DC same coil as uh, the previous video rectify as DC being shorted out and let's see what it does yeah I'm here and slowing down so we had 3017 and what is it doing now Two thousand nine hundred and eighty-one, eighty. Still decreasing. Let's give it some time. When I'm done with this test, with this high RPM test, I'm gonna remove this generator and put this one in there. And that's about time. And in the meantime, I'm going to also um, connect or uh, mount the other 12 coils in there. Let's see the RPM one more time. 2960. Pretty steady. So there's a drop of um, 50, almost 60 RPM. Now I'm going to load the coil. 3 watt load, loaded, rectified, coil. I can hear it slowing down even more already. So when it was shortest we had uh, 2959. And now it is loaded. Two thousand eight hundred and sixty five and still decreasing. That's already almost a one hundred drop RPM more. Yes. One hundred RPM drop more. Sorry. One more test. Two thousand eight hundred and thirty-four, thirty-three. So yeah, you get the idea. We're gonna stop it over here. Two thousand eight hundred and thirty. Shutting everything off, and it will keep freewheeling away. That's about it. Um, next I'm gonna do the same high RPM test but uh, with the other setup and also mount my Trinity Dynamo in there. Okie dokie. Hope you enjoyed it. Nothing special as usual. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.